What you wanna say? Say it. I said, look, you said y'all say, say it. Pizza, First you said you an atheist. Say it. Damn right, I'm an atheist. Alright, I got your camera. I go up and stop me from slapping you. How? Nothing. I thought you said you wanted to stop me from slapping you. Go can't stop you from hitting me. Go can't stop you from doing shit. I thought you wanted to kiss him. Oh yeah, I'm You wanna make a statement, right? You wanna make a statement? I thought you wanna make a statement. He got a problem with the Israelites. Yeah, hey, alright man. Yeah. He ain't got the guts. I thought you had a statement to make. What's propaganda? Religion come from uh, Abraham, bro. Religion come from Abraham? Abraham. He started what? all that shit. But you about to kiss or you made a statement. Oh, what was the statement you wanted to make? I'm not the What's the statement? What's your statement is your statement. Why are you full of shit out here? This full of shit. What's, what's full of shit? Full of shit. How, how, how you original Hebrews you born in the, the United word? States? You born in the United States. We got a lineage that go back Nigga, before we came. The United States, Where do we come dog? from? Where do we come from? Y'all come from Africa, but y'all born Man, in the United States. Africans don't claim you. That's the fuck. Yeah, Africa don't even We're not African. 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 We're not African. I'm not Nigerian, nigga. We're not African. I'm not Nigerian. We're not African. You got a problem with Israelites. That's all right. Y'all niggas silly. What? We silly? Yeah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is going to visit you, man. No, y'all silly. Y'all silly. All right. Y'all silly. 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 Y'all Yo, okay. nigga, silly. No, 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 no why? Because you born in America. Is Jesus Christ. They silly. Jesus Christ. 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 Jesus Jesus Christ. 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 You ain't shit, and it's not me. Yeah, so your outfit. Look at that outfit. What is your name, sir? What is your name? I will pray for you. What is your name? I will pray for your soul so you don't go to hell. I will pray for you so you don't go to hell. All right, all right, beat it. There's no such place as hell. My shit is better than this shit. Okay, cool. My shit is better than this shit. Cool. My shit is better than that shit. My shit, my my clothes are not shit. Your clothes are shit. Hey, because it's not it's not even traditional. You tripping, man. That's not traditional. It's in the Bible, cuz. No, it's not traditional. That ain't traditional right there. That's not traditional. Dude, this is not traditional. That's not traditional. Panama Dude, Jack is no, not traditional. No, 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 it's not traditional. <laughs> yeah, all right, cuz. I'm educated. All right, ass. yeah, you ain't educated. You hurt. It's not traditional. You hurt, man. Dog. You hurt, dog. He stopped off at the camp before we started up talking about he an atheist. You can't let it go. You trying to mock us. You ain't mocking us, cuz. That's right. Say it again, sis. What you say? There you go. Black kings. Yeah, we, They're not black kings. What are we? It is no such thing as black kings, bro. Okay. There's no such thing. So what are you then? I'm a, I'm a god, bro. You a god? Yeah. yeah you one of the gods of Egypt. I'm a, I'm a king. You I'm a, a servant. You a servant ass nigga, man. I'm a god level. What'd you say? So you a servant, just like us. I'm not no servant of anybody. Yeah, you are. You got a job? Your ass is a You servant. got a job? Okay, don't Do you shoes, have a job? Those shoes you don't you got on right there? You don't answer. It's made in a sweatshop. And what about your shoes? Did God? Did God did Where your shoes at? Did, did, did God uh, stop you from making this sweatshop? We never said it didn't. Yeah, this made in this made in China. I got the same one. Great. That's how it made in China. What's hey, we, do? we admit it. We know we servants. Yeah, y'all servants. As the Israelites would be. No, but what are you? Y'all not servants. Y'all peasants. We're going to be kings. We're going to be kings. Yeah, we, right now we are. We're on the low end. Y'all niggas like peasants. Like the like the scriptures say. Look, 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 look. Hey, brother, give me Deuteronomy 2848. For this, for this, shit, for this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, Judah's right. Judah's right. That's, that's demonic. 28, that's, uh, 48. That's demonic because that is not my God. That is demonic. That's a demonic. That's demonic. That's, demonic. that's, demonic. that's, demonic. that's, demonic. that's this, this is all demonic. Oh God, this shit is it's called demonic oh, spirits. That's exactly that shit, what they are. They're demonic spirits. The most high spirit. will set you on a bug. This is from nice hell. Road. This is not taking hey. you to heaven. This will Read. take you straight to hell. Listen. This is not of God. Listen. This is not of God. Go ahead, brother. This is not of his world. This is not of Jesus did not die for us to go through this. Read it, brother. Ignore it. Without no, no, no. certified enemy, no, no, no. right. Lord, read it. Read it. Don't pay him no attention. If it was the Lord shall sin against me, right, and hunger and thirst, uh huh. What else? Nakedness, uh huh. And when all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, right, until he has destroyed it. There it is, right there. This dude said we were servants, right? Well, the scriptures say we would be servants. You see that? There it is. You just told him we were slaves, we were servants, right? No. Nope. Peasants. There it is. You know what? And he just read it. Too. Guess what? He just I was read a slave it. too. My family uh, comes from uh, Egypt. How about that? Your family coming from Egypt. We were slaves. Yeah, slaves. you came from the uh, Alexandrian from Egypt, Italy, Egyptians. Baby. No, not from Italy. I'm Italian, yeah. okay. baby. I am not from Italy. Right, Romans. You're a Roman. You're right. Who is that? Right. That's her relative. Alexander the Greek. All right. Read one more time, bro. Then we. Roman. I'm Italian. Italian. Yeah, okay. You ain't from this. Go ahead. Read it, bro. 
We ain't paying 48, attention. 48, 48, bro. 48. Therefore shall thy serve thy enemy. Right. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Uh-huh. And hunger and thirst. The Lord said we're going to serve our enemies. Look at this guy. And Go ahead. All right, and one of all things. The real Israelite will have a yoke. Hold on, brother. Hold on. The real Israelite will have a yoke of iron on their necks. You see that? We came over here in slavery with yokes of iron on our necks. Let me see. Go ahead, bro. Let me see. Read it. The yeah, history, is, the history is true. But that shit y'all told me. He said, wait a minute. He said the history is true, but what? I mean, the history of slavery and all this is true. It's but in the Bible. The, the religion it's in the Bible. The Bible. The Bible talking about the rules? What you say? Fuck the Bible. What Bible you talking about? He said, fuck the Bible. It is bullshit. This is his words now. This is guy. This is guy's words. It's bullshit. How tall are you? Six four. How much you weigh? He cut. He's six four. He cut. But the Lord gonna break you down to nothing, man. The Lord of heaven and earth gonna break you down, man. The Almighty and His Son. They're gonna break you down. If you don't know, we can't tell you, bro. Tell me who it is. His name. His name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shah. No, no, no. See, you you saying other names? It's all good. That's why I want to tell you. That's why I didn't want to tell you. Cause you can't receive it. Cause you can't receive it. Cause you're on a low level, man. Walk around with a fork in your pocket. Yeah. Why, man? Because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Finish up. Oh, 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 I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right, then. Have fun. Adios. Peace. 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 We're going to post you, but it ain't going to be the day, though. We, we'll get around to you. Y'all ain't spreading this dumb ass shit to people. We, that's right. That's right. To give you the warning so that you might not get destroyed. But you you done. You done, cuz. How is it true? What? I'm going to bring a Bible right here. You said it. You said that the history was true. No, it said, matches said, up with the Bible. Slavery is history. I said slavery is history. But it's in the Bible, though. Who could the fuck? It's in the Bible. The Bible okay, the then. Well, then there you go. What does the Bible mean? What does the Bible mean? What does the Bible mean? Yeah, start at three. What does the Bible mean? It, what basic instruction before leaving earth? No, what the Bible mean? What does it mean? No, what the Bible mean? Go ahead, brother. What do holy Bible mean? Days, it's a book in which the, the thoughts of the Lord are recorded. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Holy Bible mean? Answer. You tell us what does it mean then? It mean, uh, the good book. It no, means. it's not the good book. It's not the good book. Ezekiel two and nine tells you different. Go ahead. No, it doesn't. Second Peter three three. You dumbass. Know this first. Right. That there should come in the last days scoffers. Right. Walking after their own lust. Right. And saying where I promise of his coming. In the last days there shall come scoffers walking after their own lust. This nigga tried to say that the word Holy Bible means good book. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Gospel means gospel means good news. Uh different places around here. Top that street right there. It's a lot. It's a, the, the brothers, the brothers coming. He said the word Bible means good book. No, it doesn't. The Bible, the word, the uh, the word Bible doesn't have a literal meaning. It is a book, right? But the word gospel translates into good news. That's what he's wrong on that. The Greek word is euangelion, if I'm not mistaken. We will look it up. So like your brother, read that again, and then we'll end this. Second Peter three three. Yeah. Know this first, that they shall come in the last days, scoffers. Right. Walking after their own lust. Scoffers walking after their own lust. He said the Bible was bullshit. Then he said the history was true. And even if it's in the Bible, he said it's still bullshit. Okay? So he's walking after his own lust. And what else, bro? They saying, right. where is the promise of his coming? Right. Saying, where is the promise of his coming? Go ahead. For since the father fell asleep, all things continue as they were from beginning of creation right all right so you saw it right there man a scoffer and the way it started he walked up and said he's an atheist and i said why are you telling us we were trying to get ready for camp so we had to do that little pre-video so it's so like for the yelling but it's so loud out here and that dude was an asshole in the jerk you want to say something bro i, I, I ain't huh <laughs> you can say something you say the brother say say it again i hate niggas, I hate niggas. yeah we we both hate niggas two-thirds two-third niggas is who we talking about man unbelievers and they're gonna be destroyed had that all, all, all weekend drunk. Yeah, no doubt. Awesome. Yep, all weekend. Shalom, brother. Every Shalom. All praise to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, this uh portion of the video is going to be a little more edification on what you just saw. It's entitled 
Panama Jack and the Sea Hag say the Bible is bullshit. And you know, Panama Jack is this guy. I call him that because he got on the damn <laughs> the straw hat, the cabana hat with the, you know, those of you that, that can remember back in the 90s used to have these clothes, these uh, these shirts, you know, these flower shirts and the person's name was uh, Panama Jack. So that's what it remind me of, you know, you used to have these jam shirts and, these, and that hat came out of one of the stores, you know, this guy, I guess he got down to the beach and went into the stores, you know, those, those uh, stores they sell t-shirts and bikinis and, and beach chairs. Anyway, what their main beef was, they came up to camp, you know, like me and the brother was setting up camp, getting ready to teach, and then these two, this dude just came out of nowhere, and he just started, he stopped right in front of the camp, and he said, I'm an atheist, and I asked him, why was he telling us? You know, that was my reply, okay, cool, why are you telling us you're an atheist? You're an unbeliever, you don't believe, so why are you talking to us? And he went on to say that, uh, <laughs> excuse me, you Hebrew Israelites say the white people the devil, you, you think... I don't know if that's his wife or what, but he said, you think she a white devil? And I said, you know, we ain't call her nothing. I said, I didn't even know she was with you. And furthermore, all Israelites are not the same, but he wouldn't he wouldn't really listen to it. So after he stayed about three or four minutes talking shit, I decided to turn the camera on. So this is the result of it that you saw, right? And I really was just uh, trying to get him to talk to see what his uh, thoughts were. And he basically said he was an atheist, the Bible is bullshit. And then when he first, initially when he said that uh, Hebrew Israelites are a joke and all this stuff, and he said, you think this lady is a white devil, then he, he proceeded to kiss her. So all of his animosity is aimed at the fact that, number one, he doesn't believe in the Bible. Number two, his lady, you know, whatever whatever she is, you know, we don't. I told him we don't judge people based off of skin color because she could, she may not be so-called white. She might not even be an Edomite. But he wasn't trying to hear that. Anyway, this is a edification dealing with the fact that this guy said that uh, the word Bible, Holy Bible means good book, and that's not true. I said it, you know, out there, but that's just not true. Now, first and foremost, the Bible, people call it the good book because they associate, they, you know, the, the stupid people of the world think that the Most High, which they say God, Yahweh is his name, they think that he's all good and Satan is the evil. No, the Most High is both, right? And Satan works for him. The Most High is righteous, a righteous being, right? And he does both good and evil. Let's go there first. Or he has both good and evil happen to individuals. Isaiah 45 and verse, we'll start at six. I start at five. It says, I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee. Though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So the Most High says he makes peace and create evil. Okay, he makes peace and creates evil. So when you talk about the good book, well, the book coming from the Almighty has both good and evil inside of it. And the evil, which Satan does, he works under under the guidance of the Almighty. He's a created being. He's an angel of darkness. He's the angel of darkness. And he's under the direction of the Almighty. That's why the Lord said that he does good and evil. One more quick precept, Amos. Let me go here. Amos 3. I don't know if, what verse it is. Maybe it's six. Amos three and verse six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there, shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? Right. See, so any evil that happens, the most high is the one that signs off on it. And he puts Satan into effect with the evil spirits to do his bidding, to do the most high's bidding. If, in, if evil happens to individuals, the Lord is the one that sent them, send the evil on you. So when you come talking about the good book, there's no such thing as the good book because inside of the Bible, you have both good and evil and it's all controlled by the heavenly father. So this right here is Ezekiel chapter two. And I'm just gonna jump in here at verse nine. I'll start at verse eight. It says, but thou son of man, hear what I say unto thee. 
Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. And what's, he, what's, what's happening? Ezekiel's preparing to receive, you know, the, the book, as it were, or the understanding of the book, which really is, is, is um, the vision reads as if he's receiving a roll of a book, which that, that book is the Bible. But listen to what it says further. And when I looked, behold, an hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. And this book is the Bible. And when he spread it, Salakia, and he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and it was written therein, lamentations and mourning and woe. Did you see anything about good right there? Lamentations, mourning, and woe is what's written in this book. So people love to call it the good book. But it's not the good book. It's a righteous book, but it's not a good book. This is Revelation 10 and 8. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And this book is the Bible. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. When you eat it, you digest it. Into your soul is what it's talking about. When you read it, you study it, it's as if you're eating it. And he said unto me, because the Bible is done, it's like you are, Yahweh Shah said it. If, if uh, any man open unto me, I will come in and will sup with him. What's the supper? It's the words in this book. It's like it's like it's a wine, milk, meat. I just got to get a quick precept. So like you. Isaiah 45. I'm sorry, 55. And it reads, Isaiah 55, verse 1, Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye buy and eat. Yeah, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye, eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. So, this meal that's being served up by the Almighty through the Spirit, right, is likened unto, you know, wine, milk, meat, you know, different things like that. And even, and even the Savior said, this bread of life and this living water, you see? And also in Psalms 23, the Lord said, I will make a, a table before you in the presence of your enemies. So this is what you are eating, is the word in this book. Revelation 10 and 10, and I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth as honey, and as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. So what kind of good book makes your belly bitter? You see, the sweetness of it is, is the, you know, all the promises and all the great things about it, but the bitterness that comes with it, making your belly bitter is the harshness of it. See, so it's not just a good book. It's both good and evil. And he said, or it has both good and evil in it. It's a righteous book. But written therein is mourning, lamentations, and woe. Verse 11 says, And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. You see? So this is not known as a good book. Now, what I said was, when you look at the word gospel, it translates into what? Good news. This is what Jake was talking about, but he got confused. This is Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come so when you go to this word right here gospel right this is the greek word let's play it strong's g 2098 euangelion 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 right and the rough translation is good message it says a reward for good tidings, good tidings, right? Which which translates further to good news. See right here, it says a good message, which we say good news. Now I wanna also, just hold on brothers. Let me go here. Uh, yeah, right here. The idea, let me see what it says all together, so like it. It says, originally denoted a reward for good tidings, 
Later, the idea of reward dropped and the word stood for the good news itself. See that? Gospel, i.e. good message. See, in the New Testament, it denotes the good tidings of the kingdom of the Most High and of salvation through Hamashiach to be received by faith. See that? Even right here, it says the same thing. The glad tidings of the kingdom of the Most High soon to be set up and subsequently also of Yahweh the Messiah, the founder of this kingdom. After the death of the anointed of Hamashiach, the term comprises also the preaching of concerning Yahweh Hamashiach as having suffered death on the cross to procure eternal salvation for the men in the kingdom of the Most High, which those men are, men are Israelites, but as restored to life and exalted to the right hand of the Most High in heaven, thence to return in majesty to, cons to consummate, consummate the kingdom of the Most High, the glad tidings of salvation through Hamashiach, see? And uh, yeah, so that, I mean, that's pretty much it. So when Jake was talking about the, what does the Holy Bible mean, and he said it means a good book, no, it doesn't. Because the word good in the Hebrew would be tawab, and I think the book, word for book, if I'm not mistaken, is sapar. See? So it would be tawab sapar. Sapar tawab would be the words good book. And if you type in the word good book in the search engine of the, the blue letter, you don't see it anywhere. The only, only, only scripture that the words good and book come up in, Joshua 1 and 8, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good good success. Those are the only places the words good and book wind up in together. Furthermore, when you look up the word uh, good, right, well, that's neither here nor there. I won't even bother with it. Just going back to Matthew 24, let me show you that. Matthew 24 and 14. Right, and when you go to the words gospel, and this gospel, euangelion, euangelion, right? When you look at that word, this word comes up in the scriptures many times. It says Strong's number G2 2098, which occurs, it says matches the Greek euangelion, which occurs 77 times in 74 verses. In the Greek, all right, and as you see in different scriptures, Matthew four twenty three, and Yahweh shall went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel <clears throat> of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Same word as gospel in Matthew twenty four, as you see it down below, Ma Matthew nine thirty five, and Yahweh shall went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues. And preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Okay? In any place you see the gospel, the word gospel is euangelion. You have many entries for it. Anyway, Jake didn't know what's going on. Which, if he's even a Jake. Because, you know, we made jokes about him or whatever among ourselves. And I basically said that uh, you can see him here. Right? <laughs> Panama Jack and the Sea Hag. Basically causing confusion. That dude was all over the place, man. You can see him right here with his sea hag. And then you can see him right here. I said I had made a joke about him. I said the dude teeth look like dentures. And look at him. He grinning. <laughs> Nigga teeth look like dentures. And then I don't even know she even got any teeth. Look at that mouth. Last time I seen a mouth like that, it had a hook in it. <laughs> anyway, they was harmless. I mean, they had been drinking too. I can smell the liquor on Jake, bro. Hey, but at the end of the day, it's all about the gospel. You know what I mean? We ain't out there to, to, to start nothing. But I mean, when you run into people like this, I just figured he was going to heckle us. I heckled him back. And then in the process, I got some good footage of him, you know, talking his shit. And in the beginning, he was aggressive, you know, like he wanted to fight. But then he calmed down and just kept on, you know, dealing with this. Once the scripture started coming out, the brother noticed. He said he kind of got stopped in his tracks. You know, he tried to tell us that, uh... You know, that we ain't Israelites and all this and all that. But I said, and we started dealing with Deuteronomy 28 and 48. And then he had to kind of, you know, he was kind of taken aback by it. You can see it. He basically calmed down a little bit. 
And when he said that he, he the history was true, and I told him, well, it's in the Bible. Then he kind of got, you know, he started acting a little, I mean, he, he don't know, he kind of paused a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You can't really see it here, but you notice it when you watch the first part of the video. He didn't seem as, fer his argument wasn't as fervent as it was before. And he even went back to it. He said, I said all, you know, he was basically saying, it all. I said history was real, but the Bible was fake. It's bullshit like that. And I was like, well, yeah, but it's in the Bible that that would happen to us. That's why I had the brother read Deuteronomy 28, 48. But you know, it's all good. Jake was doing all that to protect his, uh, his sea hag, but you can't help her. If she ain't a Jake, nothing you can do to help her. But it doesn't even matter. So Lord willing, this is edifying. You got something out of it. I'm sure you got a good laugh out of, you know, Jake and his antics, his shenanigans, but we all about edification, all right? So that's it. All praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.